Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I am a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on the HackerRank Interview Preparation Kit. So today's problem is a warm-up challenge called Repeated Strings. Lila has a string S of lowercase English letters that she repeats infinitely many times. Given an integer N, find the, and print the number of letters A in the first N letters of Lila's infinite string. For example, if the string S is equal to A, B, C, A, C, and N is equal to 10, the substring we consider is A, B, C, A, C, A, B, C, A, C. The first 10 characters of her infinite string. There are four occurrences of A in the substring. All right, so basically our task here is to write a substring or write a function that takes the string that they give us, and then we are gonna be repeating it however many times is required to be able to have the first 10 characters of this infinite string. And then we are going to be telling the person how many times A is found in this string, the substring. So how we can solve this pretty easily is to break up the problem into different steps. So first we can look at the string that's given and we can see how many letters is in, is in this string. Then by dividing the number of letters in the string S by the number of letters that we are supposed to be going into the substring, which is N. So length, uh, the size of S, uh, the n divided by the size of s will equal the number of times this string is repeated in its entirety. Then by simply taking the number of a's found in s multiplied by the number of times it is repeated, that'll give us the number of a's in the substring. So for example, in this case here, we have 10 characters and s has a size of five. Five divided by 10 is two. So then we just find that there's two A's in this sub, this string, and we multiply it by two, which would give us the four occurrences. However, there are two conditions that change this. The first is instead of N being 10, what if N were 11? We would then have an additional letter on the end here, which would be an A. And if we were to use the same rule by integer division, we would end up with just four occurrences as well. Well, we can fix this by after we find the number of A's in the string and multiplying it to find how many A's we have from the string being repeated in its entirety, we could then go the remainder number of letters into the string and add in every A we find in up to that many letters of the string, which would then find the proper number of occurrences. This also solves for the issue if we have an N that is less than the total number of letters in the string. For example, if our N was only four, we would only go up to, uh, we'd only have A, B, C, A, in which case we would have two A's and be cutting off the C. And since we are only going up to the number of letters that we have as a remainder of the division, we would then catch all those A's in that case as well. So let's go ahead and start coding our solution. So here's our function. Uh, we're gonna start off with the uh, long uh, number of A's, num A, and we'll set that equal to zero because we haven't found any yet. So since the number is going to have the repeated first, we're always going to need to have the, we know there's always gonna be at least one so we can start off by finding how many our remainder is. So we're gonna call it int r for remainder as equal to s dot size or n mod s dot size like so. So this should give us the remainder after we have the even number of times going into the string of having the string repeat. So then we're gonna do a for loop to find the remainder first. So we're gonna say for 
int i is equal to zero, i is less than r, uh, we're gonna increment r. Or increment i, sorry. Whoops, that was a slip of the tongue. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna check to see if the string s sub i, if this value is equal to lowercase a, and if it is, we are going to go ahead and increment num a. All right, so that looks good. This is going to catch all of the values for the remaining value. So now we want to get the bigger value. So before we do this, we know for a fact we're always going to need to have some form of the remainder. At the very minimum, we have some string of one letter and we have a long equal to one. So at the very least, we're going to need this. However, we're not always going to have an even number of repeating uh, or even a single time that we go through the full string. So if that's our case, we're going to want to check for that. So we're going to check to see if the n divided by the size of s uh, is greater than 0. So if it's greater than 0, that means we do have it go in at least one time. And if that's the case, we will need to know how many are in the thing, uh, how many times a is found in string s, and then we're going to multiply by that same calculation. So since we're going to be using this, that calculation a couple times, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll say int reps is equal to n divided by s dot size. Uh, just since we're repeating this a lot, so we'll say if in here reps is greater than zero, then we'll go ahead and go to this if statement. All right. So now we're going to say uh, for char c in s, we're going to want something to keep track of the number of a's, int num a per s is equal to 0. So for every t now in this for each loop, every time we find an a, we're going to increment. So if c is equal to lowercase a, we're going to say num a per s uh, gets incremented. So there's our incrementation. And at the end of that for each loop, we can then add all those to num a. So num a plus equals the reps times the num a per s. And there we go. So this should be a valid solution. Let's go ahead down here and return uh, num a and run code. Oh, we failed one. So in the case, so the case we failed was where we just have a repeating infinitely number of times. So the size would be one. The mod would be zero. So in this case, let's see what we did wrong here. We did something wrong in our logic clearly because this one was able to get the right number we were able to get seven here. This case was incorrect. This should be whatever this is here. Uh, but for some reason, this is not right. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. So when we do the remainder, that should be fine. However, when we do reps, I believe this needs to be a long. Because if we do n, divided by s dot size and s dot size is one, then we are just left with n. And in this case, I think 
I'm not going to count the digits, but I think that must be what's happening is we're exceeding what an int can handle. So we will need to do the long in this case. Um, so let's go ahead and try running code there. And that did, in fact, fix our test here. Uh, and just in case there is an example where they do give us the, well, no, because the size has to be, I think the size will work no matter what, because uh, that's handled by C++ itself. And there we have it. We were able to pass all the test cases. So I hope this was of use to you uh, and helped you out. Uh, if it did, please leave me a like. I really will help the channel grow in uh, the long run. Also, if you have any questions as to why the logic we used here works or why I did it in this specific order for more details, uh, please ask it below. Um, I will do my best to answer any questions you have in depth as soon as possible. Also, if you have any suggestions for how I can improve my content, uh, please leave that below as well. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.